Star is easily the biggest team in parkour. They've been doing YouTube for 12 years and created most of the parkour industry that has lasted longer than anything the sport has seen in the past. With all this success, who is responsible? The Star members have created this together, but who has been forgotten in this journey? Three members of Star have been lost in this journey. Let's start with Chris Brooks. Chris is known for being borderline insane. Through being the first to do the suicide wall run, bullying Callum Powell, and blowing a hole in his leg from a firecracker, Chris Brooks is on another level. Because of his firework accident, Chris Brooks' knee pops out of place when doing parkour. With his amazing abilities, it is hard to see that his injury made training so difficult for him. Chris's injury created a problem for himself. Instead of training with the other store members, he mostly spent his time hanging out with the team. According to Chris Brooks, he never was a member of Storr because of him only being a close friend of Storr and his injury. Brooks slowly found his priorities in a different place. Second, let's go over Stephen Whitley, who left Store around the same time as Chris, also not having an exact story on why. Before Store existed, Stephen Drew and a man named Luke Hardy made a channel called Horse of Movement. Later on, to break the mold, Store made a new channel called Mr. The Store, and after losing the password, this became Store, where Stephen Whitley would soon stay on the team. Stephen Whitley would be seen in many videos for the team, including one of the biggest store projects to date, Super Tramps Thailand. As the team continued, Stephen would fade away from store and find a path in stunts. And lastly, Luke Hardy, being in the same place as Stephen Whitley when Horsham Movement evolved into the store YouTube channel, Luke Hardy became a new member of store. As the team started to rise, the ones who consistently were there became the team members, and Luke didn't fit in this category. Although his time on the team did not last, Luke Hardy had some eventful times in store and is even known for being shot while exploring rooftops with Max Cave. From this experience of being shot in the arm and Max being shot in the stomach, this was an extremely crazy circumstance. With the information that we know, this has nothing to do with Luke Hardy leaving the store team and thankfully the man responsible for the crime received punishment. A few things can be seen as similar in each of their journeys to leaving store. The first being that the change was slow and happened as life got ahead of these members. Depending on who you ask, these people may not have been official members of store. But nonetheless, these people helped get store to the point it is now in some way. As Stephen Whitley and Luke Hardy would pursue stunt jobs, even sometimes being in the same movies, Chris Brooks went on a personal journey leading him to find peace in the nature around him. Thank you guys for your help on store's journey.